the advertisement that Democracy for America has, and democracyforamerica.com is their website, along with the Pro Progressive Change Committee. Here's the ad that they're going to be putting together, that they have put together and are going to be running in Wisconsin. Governor Walker and the Republicans just gave over $100 million in tax cuts to corporations, and now they're asking teachers and nurses to pay for it and attacking workers' rights to negotiate for fair benefits. It will probably cost us between four and 500 a month in income. I've tried not to think about it, just be out here on the square. It's not selfish, it's just survival. I'm just a secretary, and this bill that Walker's proposing is going to cost me over $3,000 a year, not to mention more down the road when we lose our collective bargaining rights. I believe that the issues that are being discussed here in Madison are not unique to Madison or the state of Wisconsin. These are national issues. Money is being taken away from workers and the tax breaks given to major corporations. This is Republican class warfare, an attack on the middle class. This is a battle we need to win. Jim Dean on the line with us, democracyforamerica.com, at least once or twice a week. I tell you, get out there, get active, join democracyforamerica.com. Uh, let's go to the source. Jim, welcome. Hey, Tom, how are you? I am great, but I'll get better. I hope the same is true for you, Jim. Yep, I'm in, working on it. In fact, I will be in Vermont this weekend on uh, 2 o'clock on sa tomorrow, Saturday afternoon. Uh, I, I will be keynoting a meeting at the Montpelier High School with Senator Bernie Sanders will be speaking, and uh, a person from the Vermont Law School will be speaking about oh, oh, about Citizens United and corporate personhood. So Good. I will that's be great. Well, appreciate you coming back here to do that. I am very grateful for that. I will be in your great state, and should you have the inclination to come down to Montpelier at two o'clock, you would be. Uh, we'll drag you off on on the platform and make all kinds of wonderful noises about you and uh, promote to democracy for America dot com. Yeah, well, I appreciate so, that. I actually got to be out of state on Saturday, but uh, uh, but okay. I'm very grateful for the invitation and very grateful that you're coming back to talk about this. Yeah, uh, as you thank know, you. It's really important. Well, this and, is uh, this this is the Wisconsin. this is the town where I learned that it's all based on a lie. Which uh, you know, people who come to our gig on uh, at the Montpelier High School tomorrow at two o'clock will learn all about. Um, you guys at Democracy for, and by guys, I use the, you know, the yep. old Michigan generic, uh, <laughs> gender free term. I grew up in Michigan. You say you guys it means humans. Um, y'all have, or well, that's how we used to say it in Atlanta. Uh, y'all have a new ad campaign yep. against Scott Walker and a new website, war on working families.com. Do I have this right? That's correct. We've set that up basically for this campaign in Wisconsin that we're working with the uh, uh, Progressive Change Campaign Committee on. Uh, they do great stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, Tom, I first got to give a shout out to the folks who appeared in that ad. You know, it's one thing for us to do this. Uh, it's another thing for people uh, in their own backyards to get up uh, in public and stand up for what they believe in. Uh, and those folks are very courageous and they're really terrific. And they've been terrific spokespeople uh, all uh, for this campaign, for people who work for a living, for working families, uh, and this campaign against uh, the Republican war on working families, uh, which we're seeing uh, play out right now in Wisconsin and about four or five other states. Yeah. So uh, tell for our listeners who haven't seen the ad on, on television, uh, give us a sense of what it is and, and how are you going to place this? Where are you going to play? You know, how, where are your uh, ad buys going to be? Who is this going out to? Sure. Well, uh, first, uh, this is about uh, getting some real people together who are really going to suffer uh, under the uh, 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 governance of uh, Republican Governor Scott Walker, who is, of course, trying to uh, cut every government worker's salaries uh, and is in a war on employees. Uh, that be, would be teachers uh, and people who's, you know, whom we depend on for services. Uh, Scott Walker's been waging this war, so we're fighting back with this ad. Uh, we have been fortunate to raise over $350,000 uh, on the way. So that means that it is airing everywhere in Wisconsin for quite a while. Uh, and what we did is, we again, we got these folks to, to stand up. They're the same folks that have been out of the Capitol uh, for weeks right now uh, protesting. Uh, and, uh, you know, they're one of the reasons that Americans are waking up uh, that this kind of governance uh, might play well in North Korea, but not here in America. Right. Well, well said, Jim Dean. And uh, democracyforamerica.com, the, the, the organization. Are you guys still doing your training programs all around the country oh, yeah. on how to be an activist? Tell, you know, we're, there's lots of other great stuff going on. We are doing tell trainings. Us about uh, that. Our next one's going to be in Oklahoma City on March 12th and 13th. Uh, so these are great trainings for activists. 
Um, and, you know, I might add, Tom, that we're also doing a lot of work in local elections and in particularly in state legislatures. You know, we have an opportunity to move the ball forward on some very important issues uh, in other states around the country. It's not just about fighting against people like Scott Walker. You know, some states are expanding health care, uh, considering it. Uh, mm-hmm. Some states are, are really uh, putting in, uh, re- thinking about legislating uh, some very strict uh, campaign finance laws uh, to sort of dumb down this whole Citizens United thing. Yeah. Uh, we got about four or five states that have marriage equality uh, under consideration. Uh, so we can move this ball forward. Uh, you know, this is a progressive country a lot more than people know. It's not just about the John Kasichs and Scott Walkers and Rick Scotts of the world, even though they like to get all the headlines. Well, and- those guys are all just poodles for the billionaires. Yeah, and well, and true. and in fact, I'm referring to Scott Walker as as Poodle Walker, as Poodle Scott Walker. The, you know the way Tony Blair was the poodle for George Bush, um, yeah. and hoping that it'll stick. I think that it's a it's a you know the Coke's Poodle uh, Walker. Well, this is an opportunity. It's an issue that affects every single one of us. I urge everybody, if you want some more information, go to uh, WarOnWorkingFamilies.com. Uh, but most importantly, get involved in some way in this because. We can really okay. turn around this whole paradigm of Republican governance uh, for the first time in 30 years if we can win this battle in Wisconsin. And not, let's not forget, we have an election coming up in how many yep. months? Well, we have an April 5th election for Supreme Court justice, which is very, very important. That's in Wisconsin. Yep, that's in Wisconsin. And then we're going to have a recall a few months after that. Uh, so there, it, this is going to keep going on for a while, and it's very important that we stick with this, uh, that we be involved in these upcoming elections, uh, because both of those elections, Supreme Court justice and uh, these recall elections, really matter. Yeah, so for our listeners in Madison, well, a- actually all over the state, uh, Democracy for America, War on Working Family, democracyforamerica.com, that's F-O-R, War on Working Families dot com. These websites, get the word out, share it with everybody you know, you know, create a viral email, get the stuff out there, get the message out there. And uh, uh, Jim, any events in Wisconsin specifically that Democracy for America is going to be doing here? Well, well, we we know we mostly focused on uh, trying to support uh, the rallies that have been already taking place, uh, both in Madison uh, as well as around the state and around the country. So, uh, but you could look forward to seeing a few more as this recall gets closer. There you go. Okay, democracyforamerica.com. dot com. Jim Dean, the Tom, thanks for having me on. My ch- my my pleasure, uh, Jim, the chair of Democracy for America, Jim Dean. Jim, we'll Please. talk we'll talk to you soon. One of these days, I hope to get together with you again. 